Hopefully we won't hit much traffic. We, yeah, just so we get there in time. Yeah, we, I mean, we've left in plenty of time, but. We are on the way to the airport to pick up Yulse. We are definitely hoping that Yulse has all of his travel requirements in order because, you know, there is a chance that he could be turned away. It's kind of exciting. Yeah. This is definitely something that we never done before, something that we'll never forget. And then I think the biggest thing with you guys is just explaining stuff to him, showing him things like around the house, stuff like that. And then of course show him fun things that we do. And yeah. Maybe take him to like the country gaming store. Some of the things that I'm looking forward to showing you say around Georgia is like Atlanta, like the touristy spots like the aquarium and World of Coke. I'm most excited to show USA and Georgia is probably the food, all the food that we eat. And hopefully we'll be able to communicate through messaging to know if he gets through. I think with the kids, the energy is definitely excited that it's finally happening. But I think also, you know, they're nervous. They don't know him, just as he doesn't know us. So, you know, I think there's going to be nerves on both sides. I mean, our biggest concern is just him getting through customs because I definitely know there will be a huge disappointment if it doesn't happen. At the airport, we're waiting and we're waiting and we're waiting. We're really starting to get a little concerned because Emma got one response from him that said we landed, but we haven't heard from him since. And then all of a sudden, I was like, whoa. And I then looked kind of down and I saw him. Like, you guys go, don't go past the red line. The kids were very excited and he was very excited. He said, you know, several times, um, I cannot believe this. I'm so excited. And we, you know, put his bags in the car and uh, hopped in and started driving south. It's good, it's, it's very exciting that you're here. Ah. Uh, that you're finally here, yeah. and you don't have to be on the screen. I'm so excited about this. Everything here is new for me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Traffic is, yeah. <laughs> We have a lot of traffic. A lot. My first reaction when I came here was that like cars and like trucks are so different. We call this the interstate. Interstate? Yes. Okay. In Finland, cars are le smaller. Trucks are rare in Finland. So how was your flight? Uh, it was good. I played some games on the screen. Mm -hmm. yeah. There was some, uh, do you know tic-tac-toe? Yes. yes. Yeah. So do you play any video games? Uh, yeah, I have uh, some video games, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool, yeah. Yeah, I have one, too. First, when I met Emma, Alex, and Amber, I was very excited, and a little, I was a little bit nervous because they are, like, new pe people for me. So my first thoughts on Yose was that he, he actually looks pretty cool, and his English is actually pretty good for, for coming from Finland. I'm excited to have someone who can actually do TikTok with me, and I won't have to have Alex, because I know he doesn't like TikToks. When you're here, do you have to video chat with your school? I do. Uh, I have to check. Oh, at his own pace. Oh, OK. Yeah. Our first conversation with Yulse, I think, honestly, is going much better than I had prepared myself for. Uh, he speaks quite a bit of English. Yes, sometimes he has to think of words or look up words. But overall, I mean, he's definitely much farther um, into the English language than I had pictured. Your school is accommodating to, to let you come here for the experience. Yeah, they just said that uh, you can go to United States and uh, get some new experience. Yeah, you'll get so much experience yeah. and so many new things and so much English, yeah. you'll go back and you'll be able to teach everybody. Yeah. Wow. I just feel like I want to try to get as much in as possible over the next three months, teach them as much English as we can, but not be too overwhelming. All 
All right, we are here. Wow. Introducing you'll say to the rest of the family, I think is gonna be great. I think everybody's gonna be excited to, you know, want to help him learn and show him things, teach him things. Wow. <laughs> He's here, we're home, there is no turning back now. Jess. Wow. <laughs>
we're figuring this out with Yule Safe. Okay, so we're gonna keep pile. That can go to Yule Safe as he eats that. This can go to Johnston's. You ready for American? Man, I'm ready for some American Come over food. Here. So after we tried all of the finished food and snacks, I bought some American candies and snacks for Yule Safe to try. First, you're gonna try something very American. This is cheese in a can. Cheese, cheese. Whiz. Yeah. Like American cheese. <laughs> Don't do that. Hey, let me you yeah, know, let's try a bite. I don't like that. <laughs> it's not good, is it? It's horrible. <laughs> it was very bad. I didn't like it all. Ah, yeah. He knows what those are. You know what these are? Yeah. Pop rocks. Yeah. <laughs> They're funny. <laughs> more. They're funny. Oh, more? I've never yeah. liked those. That's just of that reason. God. Ow. Rocks. Rocks. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like stove. Mm -hmm. I'm Stolen. just kidding. They're called nerds. It's like chocolate rock. I've seen them before. Weird. Weird? Yeah. One of mom's favorites. Oh, uh, yes. Ah, oh, rainbow horror. Do you know that? Yeah. He's going to take a massive <laughs> poop tonight. And then we have one more thing. Ah, oh, corn yeah. dog. Corn dog. <laughs> yeah, corn dog. A corn like dog. corn and dog. Dog. What? Dog. All right, corn and ketchup. <laughs> Do you like ketchup or mustard? Hold on, they're hot. It's hot. Be careful. It's hot. <laughs> this takes a deep breath. Like. <sighs> yeah, I'll do one with the eels. Hey, mustard. I uh, love each other. He can put mustard on it. Hot dog. Hot it's dog. a corn dog. Oh, oh. Get, get some of his mustard. Is it is it hot inside? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think a uh, corn dog wasn't mm, good. It was bad. Do you like it? Maybe not. I like the other one. Alex is like. Give me that one dog. Yeah. This is one of my favorites. The Johnston Backyard Games are today. We are uh, going around the house getting some of the supplies, like the steps to use for the podium. We got some flags. We made some t-shirts for each of the teams. Did you see our wife? We got to run with the wife. Yeah. Veronica and Stacy. Go lift Go lift them up. No, go lift, go yeah. lift it up. Ver <laughs> go lift it. Veronica and Stacy are the yes, little Yes, Veronica and Stacy. Why did y'all not name it, name, name it Felicia? Why didn't you tell me? I would have said I something. I didn't know we were naming it. Anna, no, you carry it upside down on you your back. You carry it upside down on yeah. your back. Oh, why is there so many rules? Because <laughs> that's, they really carry their real wife. OK, that's not how you do it. In Finland. Anna, that's uh, not how you do it. <laughs> okay, there you go. So the upside down uh, wife race uh, game that uh, is played in Finland is just an interesting game. Like, why would you want your wife on the back? Just why don't you just get a heavy book bag and just carry it, lordy? There you go. I go slow, so I just won't fall off. Oh, God. <laughs> That's not slow. Upstairs, we have all kinds of stuff from all these things, activities we've always done. Hula hoops. Cones. Cones. Uh, inflatable rings. Yes. Things like that. So get everything loaded up and head down to the field. To kick off the Johnston Backyard Games, we are going to light a torch, lighting the Johnston Backyard Games flame. All right, show us the torch. I feel like it does, you know, it's, it's starting to really feel official. All right, go ahead. We let the, uh, the athlete from the farthest distance 
light, light the, torch. the flame. Having the fire too, you know, in the same area with the podium, and um, it was it was really neat. How long did it take you to learn the national anthem? I got the sheets music of national anthem about four days ago, but it was pretty easy. Uh, song for me because I have played nine years or nine years trumpet, so it was not hard. I play trumpet, and my trumpet is a little bit smaller than other trumpets, so the name of that is pocket trumpet. So it's not modified for me. It's uh, it was on the store like same. It would be like uh, uh, a cello and a violin. But the uh, sound is same. Yeah, it sound is same. Now, I that feel like the, me teary -eyed a I feel bit. like the whole neighborhood standing on their no, back porch right now. Girl. Very good, very very good. So we're gonna start with the orange race. So the orange race is pretty simple. Every athlete has an orange. Orange has to be on the ground. You can't use your hands. On the count, we How, drop. Can I, can I tighten my shoe? No, oh, no we drop the orange. <laughs> you have to kick the orange around basically the perimeter, and the first one back around to the finish line wins. All right, three, two, one. Go, Alex. <laughs> hey, Emma, you, you gotta go. <laughs> oh, you little cheater. Oh. <laughs> I think orange trains was kind of easy game. No, no. So I have had three surgeries on my legs. Like before my leg surgeries, my uh, legs was like this. After my surgeries, I don't have a say much pain in my legs. Ah! No, he won! <laughs> Finland. Ah! <laughs> it's, yeah, you got great team. team. For, you guys have to cheer your team. No, oh, that's yeah, not no, our team. Break. Nope. Sorry. Oh, dead, dead, dead. I need a little more than that. I know. Oh, poor me. Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna do wife carrying, so we've gotta add some obstacles. You want me to do it? Come here. Do you, you doing want it? Me you to freaking do it? You frit. No, I, I, but I got strong muscles. You got okay. to carry that. I, I know that. I carried it yesterday. Emma and I are representing the country, China, um, because obviously Emma's from China. We were supposed to be in teams, and Emma and I were left alone, so I said, I'll go with Emma's country. We were were you good, though? Yeah. You should record it yourself and send it to me, because oh, I don't sorry. know any of these games. Yeah, so. So I think I should do it. You do the two trip one. Up then if you I ain't do gonna this trip. Game. I ain't gonna trip. Oh, that's bull crap. You did trip for this one. Yeah, because someone stepped on my orange and I felt. And Maybe I don't want someone to step on your orange then. Mm -hmm. For our next race is the wife carrying contest, and this represents Finland. At the beginning of the race, you will carry your wife up and over a picnic table, through a series of hula hoops, in and out of inner tubes. You must get your foot in four separate tubes, and then you will finally zigzag through some poles. So this is Veronica, or is that him? This is Veronica. You have Stacy. you'll yeah. say. Yeah, you'll say Stacy's playing Stacey with your booty. Stacy has very much power. Hey. Holy, what do you say? Has, Stacey gonna... has very much power. Yeah. She's playing with your booty. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Emma's. He had, 
He liked my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I love my ass too. <laughs> okay. The wives are hot. I mean, the outfits, the wigs, a little trashy, but they're good. On your mark, get set, go. Go, Emma. Trying to go. Move out. OK, there you go. Like you knew there was know, four rings on me. each side. Freaking go through them. They're not just gonna put an extra ring. <laughs> ah! Ah! I didn't know which was going all four. Go, come on! <laughs> yeah, I love ah! the <laughs> Man. You'll say he loves being active and doing everything, and I mean he's pretty fit. Yeah, that boy can whoop us. Come on, Liz. Oh, <laughs> I mean, carrying the wife wasn't the problem. I just underestimated how big the hula hoop was. Because I went through the hoop, so it was like my wife that like caught it, and then we both just went down. Here we go. <laughs> you got to sling it. Man, I could do it better Too than that. Too freaking tall for that hula hoop. Yeah, you didn't duck it all. All you have to do is pray for a fall, and then you get the lead. My wife and I did perfectly fine. No, did you hear the father? I didn't let her down. She kind of let me down for being heavy and fat. Yeah. Get it, Jess? Babe, you don't have to zigzag real big. Just walk right by. There you go. Okay, here we go. China might have a chance to be on the leaderboard now. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not killing right. myself over this. Yeah. On your mark. Get set. Go! Get him, Jason. Go, go Alex, go. I found the wife carrying competition fine. Until, well, the, the table was a little bit challenging, but I didn't end up getting over it. Good job, Alex. Run. Good job. Alex, just don't fall. Come on. <laughs> it was just a hula hoop that, like like Liz said, I underestimated the size of the hula hoop. He's told you it's hard. <laughs> Ours is a little That hoop stiffer. is way too small. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So after I got back up from the hula hoops, I kept running the race. <laughs> go, go, Alex, go! And then once I came to the um, the floaties, oh. I fell again. So that wasn't fun, but I finished the race, and that's all that matters. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> Since Jonah and Yule say both won their races, they will take the gold for Finland. Alex and Elizabeth lost both of their races, so South Korea will not medal. And now it's time for China and Scotland to determine who will win silver and bronze. They're racing. They're racing they for right second there? and third. This right is right going now. to tell us second and third. Yeah. Are mark. Mark. Get set. Go. Go, Emma, go. Come on. As you're running through this course, clearly there's trouble holding on to the wife while you're trying to go through the obstacles. Don't fall, babe. Go down, go down more. The wife gets dropped, you gotta pick her back up. That put her back on. I didn't drop uh, Stacy or Veronica. They got banged up a little bit, but. <laughs> Good Come job. Come on, babe, you're almost there. You're a winner in my heart. Bronze is my favorite color. All the way across finish line. All right, yay. Draw a smile, look happy. Right. Did you get the, the actual podium? Yeah. Okay. Even cool. the fire and the, all the Oh, beans. nice. And our two dead wives. The Johnston Backyard Games are going great. So now we are heading into our third event. So our next competition is the caber toss, and this is Scotland. So we need to represent. Yeah. OK? You keep talking. I'm cab grabbing cabers. The caber toss, you have a timber, and you hold this timber or this pole in the palm of your hands with two hands. And the objective is to throw the pole, timber, 
forward, the pole must complete one complete flip. Ideally, the timber should land straight in front of you, pointing at 12 o'clock. So it's more about accuracy, not distance. Are we having to wear kilts? Hell no, not me. Yep, I was right. Because this is what they wear. Mom brings out the kilts uh, for their country. This is like it's a towel. <laughs> a towel. Emma and I weren't excited, so we just made up uh, places to put them on because we're not representing their country. No. We're representing China. China. Ah! <laughs> I feel like it's the 1 o'clock. I need to oversee this, Mark. Do you agree? It's 1 o'clock. Hey, o you're cheating. I think it's... it's... Look, two. Let's, Let's make sure see. we agree. Obviously, the goal was to get it at 12 o'clock, which is straight up and down after flipping it and landing it and hoping it sticks. Oh, that's 1 o'clock then. Wow, y'all throw this very wide. That's 1. It's 1 o'clock. So Dad, of course, sliced up three different cabers. One really wide caber. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> just... Whoa. <laughs> One medium-sized caber. Oh. And one, like, pretty much it was like a stick. Go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. Balancing the caber was just hard just because it was so much taller than us. The weight was fine. It was just, even Jonah said, it's just the weight, getting it to just center and balance in your hands. So you have to hold it in a basket was just the hardest part. So you really had to, like, plant your feet and just get it in a good position to push and throw. Oh, Dead on the money. No way, Anna. She did, too. It looks like it's straight up at 12 o'clock. Anna was surprisingly good at the caber toss. What is Anna's? 12? No freaking way, Anna. Good job. You know, when we expect the unexpected, it happens. And Anna unexpectedly did great at the caber toss. In the middle iron. There you go. I'm pretty proud of that Anna got gold for us. She did great. Daddy Jordan doesn't think I have muscles and can carry stuff, but mm, I beat their asses. The Johnston Backyard Games continue, and we are heading into our last event, the Dizzy Server. All right, so for the Dizzy Server game, we are going to use cups, trays, water, and bats. The Dizzy Server, you basically spin around the bat. On your mark, get set, go. You then have to pick up a tray of six cups that are filled with water. You have to go walk down to a bucket, empty your cups into the bucket, put the cups back on the tray, take them back, and at the same time you're doing all that, your partner is filling their cups up, then they spin around the bat, and then you just keep relaying until you have filled your bucket up to the line of water. Mom already dizzy. Go hit the tray. Please. I told you. No. No. I told you. Holy Nothing about it was dizzy until I took that first step. And then I just kept going this way, and I saw the bucket this way. I was like, what are you doing? Dude. Yeah, we're playing Three. by the rules. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got keep going, keep going. Keep going. Everybody was laughing and hollering and I I don't even know if how many steps I took, and oh my gosh, I dumped six glasses of water on my <laughs> head and in my face, and um, I saw Jesus. <laughs> I, we had a moment together. Come on, Dad, you good? Come on, you say, Dad. Come on. Dad, 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 I was dizzy just trying to spin. Some people almost lost their life. <laughs> Hold on. You gotta hurry. Did he get it? Oh, oh, he's still he's oh, oh they got it. it. Mom and Dad got it. Yeah. Did we win? Yeah. Mom and Dad. Mom and Dad. Oh, God, Wait. we didn't lose. She got it. Wow.
every competition with the Johnsons, it has to come with some bickering. You're down not on Elizabeth, the ground. Down Elizabeth, yeah, that's three. She's down still Elizabeth not on the ground. Four. And of course, you'll say got to see a lot of bickering. Five. It's hard when you're freaking taller than the back. I'm two inches smaller. It's not that big I'm of a difference. I'm not two inches. Yeah, you are. You're two inches taller. So he saw a true traditional Johnston competitive game. They're on the line. They're on the line. <laughs> he got <Whoa>. it. <laughs> In the end of games, I feel for that day was so amazing, and I like I. This was a very great day. Overall, the Johnston Backyard Games was uh, extremely fun. We had a great time. I think it was a great experience for Yulse to see, you know, how we can have fun, but we're competitive and we enjoy doing things that, you know, a lot of people probably don't think about or don't try to do in their backyard. They're everybody looking. Johnston's Backyard Games was very fun and I liked it so much and it was a very great time. and. Maybe maybe Johnston family is, is crazy, but it's okay and I, I like to be like also crazy. So it was very great. All right, Circus, no football this year. We're filling this pool up with cranberry sauce and applesauce, and we're wrestling. Joan and I forfeit. Alex, since you and Joan aren't getting in it, you take pictures. So this is Yulsei's first American Thanksgiving. Instead of us having our traditional turkey bowl where we play football after we eat, we are going to be wrestling in our inflatable turkey outfits in cranberry sauce and applesauce. Y'all say yeah. going for it. <laughs> this looks disgusting. Oh my gosh, really, Dad? Looks great. Oh <laughs> it was kind of funny to see Dad overly prepared for this turkey tumble because we're in maybe four inches of cranberry and applesauce. I was like, you look ridiculous, Dad. And also the turkey suit, too. OK. First one down is the loser. So Elizabeth and Emma go first. Elizabeth and Emma. Oh, somebody's gonna bust their tail. Oh. <laughs> the sauce was just nasty. It was literally, it was super cold and it was just sticky and like clumpy and just, uh, it was so mushy. You know, it was so slippery, but everyone's competitive side was definitely coming out. On your mark, you no. set, oh, gobble. Oh, no. <laughs> whoop your way. Don't push it back for There's no <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part of the wrestling was the end when I just got out of the pool because <laughs> <laughs> nothing was fun about wrestling in the cranberry sauce and applesauce because that was just disgusting. Remark, get set, go. <laughs> My strategy getting in was just like I wanted to win. And there was no rules, so she was going down one way or the other. So I was aiming more for the waist. I think that was about a tie. So who won? Me. No, I won. I ended up on top, so. <laughs> That's because I. Yeah, the hair. She's like, Carol, like, body slammed you. <laughs> You'll say, I'm not going to be nice and look, just let you in because I'm not going down. Oh, get him, you'll say. I'm dead. No, you're <laughs> down. That's why I won. Are you right? Set, go. <laughs> I think he's down. His strategy was flip Anna over. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Did it work? No. <laughs> it, it didn't work. Can I go again? If you want to. Oh. <laughs> He's already down. Carol, you won. <laughs> okay. Ready? Go. Oh, you're strong. 
you'll say he got into the excitement, the after party of Thanksgiving dinner. And like I said from the beginning, this is a Thanksgiving he will never forget. You'll say whatever you got here to win, right? <laughs> I really shouldn't have washed my hair this morning. Yeah, we should have showered. All right, Big Daddy. You know the crowd is ready. Get up. Don't be a punk ass bitch. I'm going to wrestle. You know the crowd is ready. All right, ready, set, go. Wow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I would have never thought in my lifetime that I'd see my parents wrestle in cranberry sauce, so that was a first. But our main tactic was get as many good pictures, but also stay the hell out of the way from flying cranberry sauce. Oh! Oh! She grabbed my gobbler. <laughs> I was trying to do whatever I could to get him out. But it didn't work. To get him no, fall no, down. No, my gobbler works. My gobbler works. But... <laughs> Don't push that. <laughs> she gets mad. I just want to put a side note in, a little asterisk and disclaimer that my ski goggles and earphones did not really help that much. They were not a benefit to yeah, my I'll remove dog. that. This is, this is. Mom, you're down. OK, Mom. Of course, he beat mom. Dad wrestled in high school and middle school. I'm sure he didn't wear, like, headphones and goggles when he actually wrestled. But this was his kind of element. Do we want a one battle royale, everybody in? And you have to get pushed out. Oh, yeah, everyone. Hang up your head. You will say ate the most cranberry sauce, yes. whether he wanted to or not. I think half the times he wasn't even touched. <laughs> Trent, he was just throwing people out. Please don't break the kid from Finland because he's not ours. <laughs> oh Wrestling was fun. I have souls everywhere in my body. And now I know what kind of Thanksgiving day here is in the United States. Well, Johnston Thanksgiving. Everybody doesn't do this. No. Not yeah. everybody wrestles in so cranberry sauce. So your name for done. No, no, yeah, no. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? Why? Because we're smarter than us. We're crazy. We're Not everybody's crazy like us. Now I know what kind of family is Johnston's. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Good games, people. First annual turkey tumble and, and the last annual one. <laughs> <laughs> I call first shower. Me. You'll say is our foreign exchange student that we are hosting. He's from Finland, and today we are celebrating Finnish Independence Day. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> this is wild. So it is yeah. Finnish Independence Day. Yeah. And I found some of these that we can More hang up to decorate and on the fireplace and stuff. Finnish Independence Day is day when Finnish became independence from Russia. I found a bunch of Finnish t-shirts that are actually very funny. They have Finnish words on them. Look at the gray shirt. I thought the gray shirt was very funny. What is it? Finnish. Finnish AF. Finnish AF. Finnish as <laughs> But we can say it. <laughs> Finnish girl unbreakable. That's the Finnish shirt. I'm worried. My English is good, but my Finnish is much oh, yes. good. Yeah, good. Yeah, like oh, it's it's like Finnish people try to say better, but Finnish people say good there when they don't know very well English. Look at that word. Sisu. Yeah. They... What is the definition of, of sisu? You'll say said something like it's it's kind of slang. Sisu means that you're tough. You, you have you're... determination. You have courage. You're Stop. brave. You got some balls. There you have it. They just don't like to say you have balls in Finland, but that's what it means. You got balls. That's perfect for the Johnston household. Happy Finnish Independence Day. We have balls. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Thank you. 
Oh my god. Fire. You got uh, this. Sit there. Okay. Johnson family is amazing and they like to teach me that little people can do everything what normal people can do. There we go. And now I am more sure of myself. This is the recipe that I found to make salmon soup. Okay. We are making salmon soup because whenever we have asked, you'll say, like, what do you eat over Finland? What's your favorite food? Typically, salmon soup comes up somewhere in that conversation. Is this soup good? Uh, yeah, it's very good. I like it. So far, are we making the soup right? Yeah. Correct. Salmon soup was pretty simple. Salmon, potatoes, carrots, leeks, dill, vegetable stock, butter, and heavy whipping cream. How do you celebrate Independence Day back in Finland? It's just a day off, and you just relax and watch TV. Do you really? Yeah. I get behind that. You guys shoot fireworks? No, no fireworks. Wow, their Independence Day is very different from our Independence Day. We blow <laughs> it up. <laughs> yeah. In Finland, you have to ask permission from police that you can f shoot firebox because authorities don't want that, like, uh, kids don't shoot firebox and do some damage or hurt people or themselves. Do you want to get your trumpet? Ah, uh, yeah. Is he doing the trumpet in the house? Yes. Oh, wow right before we have dinner. Yosei brings out the trumpet and plays the Finland national anthem. Is anyone in the family musically gifted? No, no. Nope. Heck no. In middle school, I played percussion. But other than that, it kind of died out and I lost interest and uh, ultimately skill. So the Johnston kids cannot dance, can't sing. Uh -huh. So it just it didn't get those genetics. I thought the Finnish national anthem was pretty cool. He did a great job on it. Thank you. Try to have some salmon soup. I'm not really that nervous about the salmon soup because in America, we have salmon here. I'm open to try new foods. I mean, I like salmon and I like soup, so I mean, I mean, the, both of them together doesn't sound too bad. This is very good. So yeah. Can, uh, this is good. I mean, when you kept saying salmon soup, I was like, hmm. Yeah, at first right. when Amber told me we were having salmon soup. Salmon. 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 We like salmon. And we... Salmon. 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 There's two types of fish in our house. There's salmon and there's salmon. Do you say salmon or salmon? Salmon. That's closer to mine. Good job. It is not helping you say with his English while dad is saying salmon wrong. No. So while you're here in America, what's somewhere that you would like to go? You've been to New York before. Yeah. Like what other place would you want to go? I think what Washington DC would be some interesting place. I would like to go to Washington DC because it's the capital of United States and it's like a very famous city. And I would like to see famous uh, buildings in my own, on my own eyes. Because it is different to see with my own eyes, eyes than TV or internet. What we can do is one night here soon, we'll get a map of Washington, D.C. And it shows all the landmarks. Okay. And we can pick out what we want to do. Mm -hmm. And then we can plan our route. Trent and I are like, okay, yeah, like we can swing that because it's a fast flight. We can do it in a weekend and let him be able to see as many sites. And hopefully that will be good memories for him to take home and excellent pictures to have. They've been, but it's been a long time now. Yeah, I barely remember. Well, really. and they were like five. I'm excited to go to Washington, D.C. because like it's been like over 10 years since last time I've been and I remember nothing. So it'll be kind of nice to see the nation's capital and like see all the sites. You want to drive? 
in the van for 12 hours, or do you want to fly? We can go by car if I can drive. That's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fly. Let's go in here, and we'll sit now. Jesse fought. <laughs> Jesse farted. Tonight, we are setting up for our Washington, D.C. trip that we are taking You'll Say on with us. We are going to look at a specific map for the D.C. area and, like, all the monuments to figure out how much walking we would have to do. If we tried to do all of this walking, I know with Alex, since he's had his leg surgery, mm. walking is fine, but if we have to, like, walk fast, yeah, he starts getting what's called shin splints. Ah, we ha I have same if I... Yes, if you yeah. walk fast. Yeah. When people with achondroplasia have leg surgery done, it pretty much comes along with shin splints. And not only do the lower legs start having sharp pains, but the feet become very floppy. And so they tend to trip and fall because their legs are just literally like giving out. In our family, Trent, Alex, and Elizabeth get them because they've had leg surgery. And when talking to you'll say tonight, he was like, oh yeah, sometimes that happens to me. And yeah. it's because he's had leg surgery. Before the surgery, were you having problems? Yeah, and my leg was, my leg was like yeah. this. Yeah. So Bode. I it's that's just... called bowed. Bowed. Yes. I have had three surgeries on my legs, and I have had one surgery on my arms. My surgeries have made my life like easier, so I can now walk longer way and run, and when we put more lengths to my arms, I can read some things better and just put clothes easier, and can I say that I can wash my but so I feel like with you and Trent and Alex mm -hmm. and the fact that Emma and I cannot carry you and Trent yeah. and Alex no, I would not. it will be best if we Sorry. get some sort of transportation we get segways segways yeah. do you know what those are uh, yeah yeah mm -hmm. or like petty race. cabs like we did in San Francisco I want to try to get the most bang for our buck on this short trip. So I feel like we need to take something that can get us through traffic faster so we can see more in a shorter amount of time. Dang. No, that was Jesse. That was not, not Jesse. That was a good one, though. All right, come on. We are here in DC, uh, obviously to, you know, show you'll say the nation's capital. We are only in Washington DC for a short period of time. Can we walk fast enough to see 14 different monuments? Absolutely not, we're, we're, you know, we can't. So we decided to hire some pedicabs. I'm Don and this is Kevin. I nice to you. meet you. Now uh, we pedicabbed in San Francisco it was a great ride, but we had a little bit of a wreck. Hey, guys, look. You really had to pay attention to what was going on because our feet don't touch the, the well, bottom. Right. So when the pedicab driver hits the brakes, you got to be ready. Hi. Oh. Our pedicab wasn't paying attention in front of him. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. we, we don't do that in DC. We'll be perfectly fine today. I guarantee you, we're very safe. Ah. Oh. This is my first time ever in Washington, DC, and this is so much bigger than any city in Finland. Do we want to get a picture? Yeah, y'all want to get a picture? Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, absolutely. One, two, three. I think Capitol building is very big, and it looks so beautiful, and there was, and yeah. Can you get over it a little bit, you'll say? Yeah. Scooch in there. Oh, this is good. We made it work. I have not given a tour to little people before, but we've been doing tours for uh, mobility impaired people for the last decade. How you guys like the ride so far? Pretty cool? Pretty cool. Yeah. Yes. 
It beats walking, guys, I tell you. And that really fancy building, guys, is in the White House. They... I see it. Oh, yeah. Did it get like, burned down during like, one of the wars? It did. Very good, guys. The War of 1812. So can we have him ride us over closer? Let's do it. From the street, you can barely see the White House. So Kevin and Don took us over to the South Lawn so we could get a better view, which means a better picture. Y'all want to hop out here? Yeah, we can walk. Yeah, I definitely get a picture in front of the White House. What I w wanted to see was uh, like the White House because I have seen the most of big stores of, uh, of that. Wait, why is there two fences? Security and protection. We were so far from White House town in pictures because we cannot not go closer because there's some security things. Do something crazy. OK. Trent and Amber said to me that do something crazy when they took a photo. I don't want to be just like this. I like to do something crazy or, yeah. You have to do something crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got it. I thought you'll say his handstand was great, because you know what? I can't do that. I thought you could do a handstand. On my head, I can. How about that? Can you do one, Alex? No. Oh, God. <laughs> OK, it's done. <laughs> Emma, what are you doing? See if I can get closer. I thought the White House was pretty cool to see in real life. Yeah, perfect. And yet, so far away. You'll say you're having fun so far? Great. Great. I like this place. Here, no, you look, come here, come back. I feel like you don't want to touch it. Please. Yeah, I don't want to. Maybe they don't break it. Yeah. It's already been broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I was about to say. It's already been broken over the years. Yeah. Today is Christmas Eve, and we are introducing Yulse to our annual Christmas pajama family photo. Yes. Best, you know you best. love them. Time of the year. You know you love them. They look like Christmas like thank you. Oh. Wow. It's our Christmas pajamas. How cute. Oh, our Christmas uh, picture. You know, one. <laughs> no, kind of got to like walk like this with them to keep the feet in. This is our first year in onesies. And this year is extra special because we are sharing this tradition with you'll say. Mine? Oh, OK. Yes. Yours actually fits Good. the best. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they, they our feet, yeah. Like, Mine's huge. Like, feet is okay, this yeah, is you'll say The PJs, they're uh, cute, but I think the alteration uh, place just ran a little big with our uh, onesies. We are all oversized with our onesies. Christmas pajamas! I'm struggling over here, but yeah. I'm there. Come here, Alex. Your feet. Yes, Dad. OK. So who wore it best? You'll, you'll say, say by far wore the pajamas the best. He looks so cute. He really did. I think it we all would have worn them very well. If they would not have been for like the big and tall man. They weren't. Because I think I like last year's pajamas better. Yeah, you I need agree. to look really serious. We with have those. to have something yeah. different over I think here. Before last. Mom putting us in matching onesies and taking a picture is not the first thing I look forward to when I think of Christmas, but I mean, I have no choice, so I have to do it. I feel like the Christmas traditions that you know we have created as a family every year even though it may be the same thing, activity that we are doing, we create different memories. And obviously they make for very lasting memories. Now whether or not they take these traditions and they do this with their family, I don't know. But at the same time though, I'm instilling in them to create some sort of tradition. I'm actually gonna have you scooch a little bit more. I think uh, Jonathan's matching beaches is cool. Are you gonna uh, take it back to Finland? Can we put it in your suitcase? If I can. We'll ship it to you if it doesn't fit in your suitcase. OK. okay. All right, everybody, look small. Is this? Dad, no. Dad, no, please, no. Dad. Mom, hurry. I think that's the winner. Yeah.
lids. Can you give me those new lids for fondue? It is New Year's Eve, and so we are doing our traditional fondue and fireworks. Chocolate is melting, y'all. Oh, yeah. It's Cheese, chocolate. Maybe a little bit of salt, a little bit of ground mustard, and some chili powder, and we got to go. What are we going to dip into chocolate? Don't we have marshmallows? Oh, yes, we do. You'll say is our foreign exchange student from Finland, and he has been staying with us. He has about two weeks left before he heads back home to Finland. This is our fondue platter. This is fondue. We have chocolate. Have you ever done fondue? Chocolate. Fondue? Yeah. What is fondue? You, you don't have stuff. to look so disgusted. I just wonder. I don't, I'm not disgusted. Fondue. You take fondue. a fondue. 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 Like fun and do. Fun, F O N. Yeah, like fun. Fun. Fun to do. Is it like fun, do, like fun to do? So, what is, so is it like we do, doing some fun? He automatically assumed it as fun do. And, you know, I think the name should be changed. Fun. 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 Yes. Fun do. Fun do. Yeah. Fun to do. This is great. You have to try different things. Yeah, yeah. Like you can do the marshmallows, you can do the cookies. Ham, everything. We all stand around the island for fondue because I guess we could all agree that it's a little people thing. Our island is built for us, it's lower. If we're sitting in a chair, our arms are very short. This is what we reach. So you put this here. Yeah. I think fondue is, is uh, good. Do you put some ham and something like yeah, you do anything. So he started off pretty good. He put, I think, bread and chocolate, which that's uh, fine, you know, whatever. Yeah, we just went to hell real quick. It's just good. Look at this. Try and. Oh my, oh my god. god. Marshmallow no. and cheese. Then he goes and he puts. Marshmallow dips and cheese. a marshmallow and cheese. Who's gonna eat that? Can I uh, this? The one that just, dipped it. Just contaminated the cheese. Just yeah. When I saw Yose putting the marshmallow and the cheese, I legit almost threw up. Like, I did not even want to think about that. I didn't want to see it. Can I try it? You, need to go a little you can try it. Just add, don't let that drip on the, you. Adding to the list. A little bit higher. Just Ew. Like, yeah, okay. yeah. This is good. It's <laughs> Pat backfired on you. And on time. You need to make the string a little bit longer. Ah, karma. Oh. I don't recommend that marshmallow and cheese because it was uh, disgusting. And, and cheese and marshmallow don't fit together, so I don't recommend it at all. It was disgusting, so don't try it at home. I told you. Well, he likes weird food combinations. So. Okay, this is not good. Terrible? Yeah. Terrible. It's got a lot to learn with fondue. He learned real quick that marshmallow and cheese was not good. Not good. What do you guys do in Finland for New Year's? Uh, some people do some parties, like, Happy New Year and fireworks. So it's basically the same thing. Yeah, but this is new for me. Do y'all do New Year's resolution? Like, what are you going to do? Yes. Yeah. You start, Elizabeth. You I want to get through nursing school. Keep making money. Yes. That's about it. Oh, man. Where do I start? De-stressing. De-stressing, good health, and lots and lots and lots of car deals. Over the last year or so, uh, obviously, we have faced um, many stresses. We have endured career changes, um, you know, going back to college, various things. It's important for us to find ways to be able to de-stress. Try to live, like live. Li li try to live best I, as I can. 2022 is going to be great here because I'm going to be 18. I can, I can do everything what I yeah, want. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I can drink alcohol. In his country, In not his here. country, yeah. not over here. Uh -huh. That'd be 21. If you were making a drink for Anna, what would it be? Vodka, because I know you like vodka. A vodka, pineapple juice, and Sprite, one of my favorites. Um, Shot-wise, I had this new one, vodka and pickle juice. Very good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do not mix pickle juice and vodka. I swear to God, that's that? a shot. Who's ready to go do fireworks? Not Me. Good. We have had enough of fondue, so now it is time to head outside and shoot some fireworks. Everybody smile. Trent, scooch over next to Jonah. There we go. Heads up. <laughs> okay. You'll 
Dulce and Alex both wear headphones during fireworks because of uh, noise sensitivity. They both have something very in common. <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> Happy New Year! <laughs> Happy New Year! You know, you gotta start out big. So we do. Oh, we're doing sparkle. Yeah, sparkle you'll say we're doing something. Oh, quiet. you can go do sparklers. Yeah. Did Okay, I don't want to burn my clothes. Well, you're dancing, so you're. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to do young there. You'll say he's never seen. Go, that. go yeah. right here and do that. All right, sweet. Hurry. You gotta hurry. Come quick. Ooh. What the? F <laughs> <are you doing>? <laughs> <laughs> so Liz had like these poppers, and she went, slammed them down on the ground, and made a big pop. And it scared the life out of Yosei. I thought it was actually kind of funny. He, of course, let some words fly, but it was quite funny, to be honest. So funny in America. What the <laughs> is that? <laughs> Overall, New Year's Eve was very great, and it, we, we had a great time. And I'll talk, I was scared, but it was fun. And no one died, so it was all great in the end. Last one. Last, Last one. one, here we go. Happy New Year, you'll say. Holy oh my God. God. The best part about good fireworks is they're really pretty, they're really loud, and as long as everybody comes back with 10 fingers, 10 toes, and two eyes, we're good. Mm -hmm. It was successful, and we did. Happy New Year! Wow. Happy New Year! <laughs> I lost my hair. <laughs> Holy crap, this is cold. I'm freezing my butt off. This looks fun though. You know, it's been a few stressful weeks with Jonah and some poor decisions he has made. We are going to catch up with Jonah in the coming days, but for now, we are going to do something very fun. Hey, some, somebody you better win uh, quickly so we don't have to stay in this cold. Here we go. <laughs> Back in the summer when we did the Johnston Backyard Games, everybody had a really, really fun time. However, we couldn't add like a winter sport to it, so we thought that it would be fun to try out curling. Yeah, nah. Look at him! <gasps> You'll say it! <laughs> if you make me fall, I'm gonna make you fall. So You'll Say's time to leave is coming up, and we're trying to squeeze every single last moment with him. Three months go by super, super quick. It's just really sad that he's already about to leave. OK, so everybody hold your broom up in the air. Now just turn and put your broom on the ice. You got to sweep right in front of the stone. And that reduces the friction. So the stone keeps as much speed as it can. OK, so everybody sweep. 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 Off. All right, we're ready. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. And this is the easiest sport I've ever <laughs> learned. Yeah. Curling is an Olympic sport that you do on an ice rink. Literally, you have this 80-pound, big, round stone that's got a handle. You have an individual that will slide the stone. You have team members that will sweep. But your goal is to get your stone in the circle. Now, this time with walking, sweep! <laughs> Maybe just a wee bit faster. Good. Off! Keep walking. <laughs> he stopped, keep walking. He jumped. Sweep. <laughs> so we sweep in front of the stone because it speeds up the stone and it also slows down the stone. When you push hard and sweep against the ice, it smooths out the ice pretty much, so that way the stone can glide faster. And when you let go, of course, whatever piece of ice that you're not sweeping is rough, so that slows down the stone. Sweep. <laughs> Off! Hard sweep! What? <laughs> Come on, do it! Get all the way in the house! So I figured we, we were coming here for like a nice, relaxing afternoon of curling, but then Jeff just starts yelling at us, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks like I'm back in school. Off! Sweep! <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's great. Good job, everybody. Get a little warmer now? <laughs> we're like, I feel like I'm getting in trouble. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do we're gonna do the, what we call the one stone press because it uses one stone. So you make sure shoulders, hips, feet are aligned with your target and you don't push with your arm. It's all coming from your legs. So I'm just gonna do like this and let go, okay? And if you've got the alignment right, it'll go in the direction that you want. Questions? 
All right, let's do it. <laughs> nice. That was a really good throw. This is the first time that we've ever taught little people to curl. But the good thing is all kinds of people with all sorts of body shapes and sizes can do it. Oh, so good you did good. Yeah. Let's have all the yellow team players over on this side, all the red team players over on that side, and we'll get organized. Get it to me, right here. There you go, Alex. Sweet. Oh, look at that. Sweet. Sweet. So ultimately, what we're trying to push the zone to is these two green circles that are out in the middle of the rink. And our goal is to get in one of those circles, or at least be on the edge of one of those circles to have a point. Well, sweeping's not hard, it's just I don't Boring. see no point. I'm sure there is yeah, a there point. Yeah, there is a point, yeah, but we're just not good enough that the sweeping really made a point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sweep! Sweep, Emma, sweep! Sweep, sweep, sweep! Dang it, it's still not farther. Far. Me, I just needed to give more power. Yeah. But then I would end up falling. Yeah. Anna definitely had some pretty pirouette-type wipeout. It wasn't really wet. The ice wasn't wet, though. It's called a pirouette oh, in oh, ballet. Oh. We were playing curling, but your sister, like, <laughs> went, <laughs> yeah, you did. But it was very graceful. Yeah, it really was. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Not enough force. Do you think there's any medals in any of your future for curling? No. no medals in our future of curling, just because we don't like the cold. We like doing hot things. Maybe swimming, we could get some medals from. You'll say fall. <laughs> so you, you don't... fall on yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good for a tumble, you know. Hard, hard. Good shot. Stop it. Uh, oh, I think you're in. Uh, I think you're in. Uh, curling was definitely a fun experience. I would definitely say. Curling is a little people friendly sport because there's nothing really, r really anything that, that inhibits us there's from no playing the sport. There's no restrictions right. to this game, pretty much. So how many stones do you see in the house? One. One, and what color is it? Yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow team yellow. wins, yay. And it was yellow. Oh. What? Oh. Not us. Never mind. I had a very fun today because it was fun to play together curling and we have a great team and we it was won. fun. Yeah, we won. Yeah. So it was this. Just wait. <laughs> <laughs>12.30 a.m. our time, he'll be in Amsterdam. Yeah. We'll be asleep. I know already it's going to hit when I'm in Finland. Yeah. That's, oh my God. I oh was yeah, you're there. gonna have the biggest change and adjustment because you're going from here to a different culture, different language, different culture. Even though he knows it, he's been here for three months. I think I have learned new things about myself. Now I feel like I'm more confident about myself because I have lived with little people. I know 100%. I can do everything as like average people. Now I have seen that my English skills are so much better than like it on FaceTime. Yeah, you know? when, you, when we yeah. first talked to you. Now you yeah. just have to, when you go home, you have to make yourself speak English. You'll at least keep what you have, yeah. what you have learned. English is awesome, but same time, English is very hilarious because like pennies, peanuts, and peanuts. They're like, you say it like 
kind of the same way and it can be misunderstanding when you talk with people. Oh my God. Sweet, we're right here. All oh, right. I think this is where we parked last, well, close to where we parked last time. Yeah. Here, Emma, scooch up. Smile. Smile! I'm smiling. Where? It's hard to smile for me. Oh, because you're sad. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of sad that Yosei is leaving today because we had a lot of fun time and I have no clue when we are going to see each other again. We hope to see him at the LPA convention. It's like in six months in the summer, so still kind of a long time. Thank you. It must, it has, you have to take it very good care. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. When I look in my three months here, I'm like a million times happy and I am very grateful. I cannot say how happy I am. I'm like very, very happy now. This may be my best three months ever in my life. You know, this experience, not only for Trent and I, was absolutely amazing, but it was amazing for all five of our kids. This was literally a new family member, but with a twist. They not only got to experience, you know, some different culture, but just all the added, you know, he's a little person, he's around their age. It was Him amazing. Him being a little person made it all that much more special. He lives with an average size family. To live with a family of all little people and how we work and how we operate and how we adapt on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, this gave him a little bit more of a boost, I think, to be confident that as a little person, anything's possible for him.